God. You may be seated in the presence of the Most High God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, boy, God is a good God. Yes, he is. For those of you that, uh, <laughs> that, that are looking that for a topic's sake, uh, conversion from my tainted bloodline. Uh, for those of you that are better in the bathroom, hallelujah. Conversion from my tainted bloodline. My God. Hallelujah. Glory. And before, before, let me, uh, let me before. This kind of preaching. This kind of preaching. Before, before I, let me, in the book of Genesis 37, because I, I must, uh, uh, I must read this. Uh, 23, 37 and 20, you don't have to stand. So it came to pass when Joseph had come to his brothers and they stripped Joseph of his tonic, the tonic of many colors that was on him. Then they took him and cast him into a pit and the pit was empty that there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat a meal. Then they lifted up their eyes and looked. And there was a company of Ishmaelites coming from Gilgit, Gilgit with their camels bearing spices from mirth on their way to carry them down to Egypt. So Judah said to his brothers, What profit if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him. For he is our brother and our flesh. And the brothers listened. Hallelujah. And the brothers listened. The brothers listened. We're not in a herd. No, Hallelujah. We're not in a herd because God is still on the throne. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Come on. And then in Genesis 42, it says, So Joseph recognized his brothers, but they didn't recognize him. Then Joseph remembered the dream which he had dreamed about them and said to them, You are spies. You have come to see the nakedness of the land. And they said to him, No, my Lord, but your servants have come to buy food. We are all of one man's sons. We are honest men. We are honest men. We are honest men. Your servants are not your spies. But he said to them, No, but you have come to see the nakedness of the land. And they said, Your servants are twins, the son of one man in the land of Canaan. And in fact, the youngest is with our father today, and one is no more. But Joseph said to them, It is as I spoke to you, saying, You are spies. Dropping down to 18, then Joseph said to them the third day, uh, do this and live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers be confined to your prison house. Mm. Hallelujah. God is a good God. In 22 it says, And Reuben answered, saying, did I not speak to you saying, do not sin against the boy? This is, let me go up to 20, 21, because I want you all to understand it. 21 says, then they said to one another, we are truly guilty concerning our brother. For we saw the anguish of his soul when he pleaded with us and we were not here. Therefore, this distress has come upon us. Let me read this again. Yes. Then they said to one another, we are truly concerning our brother. For we saw the anguish of his soul when he pleaded with us, and we were not here. Therefore, the distress, this distress has come upon us. And Reuben, Reuben answered them, saying, Did I not speak to you, saying, Do not sin against the boy? And you would not listen. Therefore, behold, his blood is now required of us. It's amazing because as I, uh, uh, as I began to prepare, and, and the Lord was, was, was speaking, and I was, uh, 
uh, what is it that I can say to these your people and understand something where we are now? The conversion has to be the conversion from our tainted bloodline because how many realize is that uh, uh, our bloodline is tainted? And you say, well, not, no, not my bloodline. I, I stand uh, uh, to differ with you because your bloodline is tainted. It's amazing because as I was reading it and going through, I started with, uh, you must understand, with King Herod. And let me tell you about King Herod, what his descendants understand. King Herod was the man that, that wanted to kill Jesus because he was considered at that time, King Herod was a Jew. Let me give you a little background. And therefore they had, he was, uh, uh, they put upon him king of the Jews. So therefore, how many realize sometimes we have a tendency because in our fleshly man, uh, titles, we can we have a tendency to gravitate to a title. So therefore, he was considered king of the Jews. Lo and behold, at that time, there were three wise men that said, hey, we see a star. Now on the scene comes Jesus. And then they told Herod, the king of the Jews will be born. Herod was like, now this cannot happen. I'm just paraphrasing to give you all understanding because I have that title. So therefore, like, like we sometimes do, we combat those that we think that's coming up against us. So King Herod sent out a decree. He did it. Read the story. How he did it. He set it up like we do. He was manipulating. But how many realize that he had an arterial motor? Yes. He sent out as, as, as though he was telling the, uh, the wise man, hey, look, I need you all to go find this king for me. Hallelujah. Take this and this and this and that. Hallelujah. And let me know where he is. But how many realize sometimes when, 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 when you're walking in the right, when you're walking righteously, hallelujah, and the intentions of the wise men were, were good. So therefore they were visited, hallelujah, by an angel of the Lord to say, hey, hearken, stop, don't do that. Don't return back because of Herod has a different plan. Yes, yes. And at that same time, uh, uh, when he spoke, he spoke also to uh, uh, Joseph uh, and told him, hey, take this, the, your boy and go to Egypt. Side note, hallelujah. Uh, how is it that Christ could go to Egypt and not be discovered if he didn't have a familiar look as the Egyptians? Something to think about. So, 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 so you must understand, hallelujah. You must understand, uh, you can't hide somewhere if you're going to be discovered. But, 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 so, so, so then, so then, hallelujah, the wise men, after they were warned, did not go back. At that time, King Herod realized that the wise men were not coming back, hallelujah. So, therefore, he put out a decree to have all firstborn and those under two around the time that Christ was supposed to come to be slain. Well, Pastor, what does this have to do with our, our, our tainted bloodline? Don't rush me now. Sometimes patience, as the Bible says, is a virtue. We must understand sometimes to listen. Hallelujah. And in our listening, things will be revealed unto us. Hallelujah. So therefore, you must understand. He put out the degree and his was King Herod. So, Pastor, how are you? Those of you that are uh, possibly say, well, how could he be? There with Jesus and also be there with James. Uh, you must understand. See, see, there, there's a sequence in that thing because you must understand. We're talking about a tainted bloodline. King Herod's bloodline was tainted. So you must understand he was around in Jesus' time because you must understand uh, his genealogy, uh, where he comes from. Uh, uh, King Herod was a descendant of the Edomites. I can't hear nobody which in other words well, Pastor what is the Eomites well you understand who Esau was because Esau had a brother Jacob so therefore uh, King Herod was in the bloodline of Esau Esau you must understand the one that had a grudge against his brother I, I can't hear nobody how many realize sometimes if you don't get rid of those grudges I, I, I can't hear nobody they will pass down I heard that's why I read in the book of Deuteronomy, hallelujah. If you don't get rid of those grudges that's within you, you may not recognize, but they will pass through you down to the fourth and the fifth generation of your family. I can't hear nobody on today. So therefore, though, hallelujah, it may not befall you. 
like they possibly did before Esau, but because of the lineage, hallelujah, everybody that came after him that was king, and you had King Agrippa, King uh, all of them was in the Herod line, hallelujah. So therefore, when, 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 when James came on the same hallelujah, they took because also, it was the same Herod, it was a different Herod, but uh, the grandson, I can't hear nobody, a King Herod, which was uh, 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 around the time of Augustus and Festus, because you must understand there were the governors around that time. Hallelujah. When they sent Jesus, hallelujah. So therefore, you had a grudge. So therefore, the, the grudge was against of the bloodline uh, of Jesus. Anything in anybody, uh, how many of you that's why you're being so attacked and you don't even understand why? Uh, hallelujah. But let me tell you, but because the thing was, because of the bloodline, Herod said, well, now, you were the one that was running around with, uh, uh, so uh, we got to make an example of you. So James, in other words, let me tell you, James was the first of the uh, disciples to be killed. Yes. Read your Bible, read your Bible. James was the first one, hallelujah. So as we go along, you must understand now, hallelujah. As as reading, as we read it. Mm. It was also the time. Also, as we go through, we go through, we, we're reading about hallelujah. And then we, we read about, we read about uh, the numbers. We read about the numbers of 14 and 18 generations. And, and I'm going to get to where we are now. Hallelujah. By the price and the things that we go through, the unbeknown to us. Uh, hallelujah. Now, now, the statement in, in, in uh, 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 Genesis, in uh, Exodus, in Numbers, was about around to the fourth and the fifth generations. It was sins of the Father. Hallelujah. So that means, unbeknown to a lot of us that are caught up in certain things, hallelujah, and it's not that we had an appetite to do it, it's just that we can't stop ourselves from doing it. You may not have an appetite to do it, but you can't understand why I'm not doing this and I cannot stop. Well, let me tell you why many of us are caught up in the surprise. Not that we had the appetite to do it, it's just the fact that we're caught up in it and we don't understand why. Well, it's because of the sins of the Father, hallelujah, that never repented or never came to the knowledge of each other. Our pastor, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I beg you different. There was a priest, now follow me in the book of Samuel. Let me tell you as an example, there was a priest by the name of Eli. Many of you understand who he was. Eli was the priest that brought our Samuel. Uh, 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 uh. So therefore it was Eli. Eli was a priest in the house of the Lord. You think you cannot have it to go to you that walk out hallelujah. Go to you that walk, think that you walk highly in the word of God. Huh? Let me tell you, you still have a responsibility to uphold the things of the word of God. Eli had two sons, Hopper name and Phineas, whatever the name is. Uh, also, therefore, he was what he did was hallelujah. Even though he couldn't, he, uh, many of us have children and understand that they grow up and they will go aside from, but the bottom of the thing that uh, his two sons were doing, they were doing in front of the temple. They were sequestering females, hallelujah. Probably would be going off and sleeping with them, getting money, but they were doing it at the temple of the Lord. Hallelujah. Where their father was the priest of the house. The Bible says, the Bible says that Samuel, the Lord had begun to deal with Samuel, but not to the point of where he was a prophet. But therefore, there was a word that came to Eli, I say, hey, your sons are doing what? Some ungodly things. God is not pleased with it. But you must understand, uh, Eli's bloodline was not tainted at the time. His actions tainted his bloodline. Pastor, how can it happen? When you know something to do right and you do it not, then the blood that they are uh, on your hands. The blood of his sons, because what they were doing, they did not know the Lord. They did not walk obscenely to the things of God, but they had a father which was a priest that never corrected them. Well, what are you saying, Pastor? What are you saying? There is no separation, so there no one escapes. There is no separation from knowing what to do right and do it not. So therefore, Eli had two sons, but he never corrected their wrongdoing, he knew of their sin. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. At that time, because he knew the bloodline switched. Yes. Oh, y'all can't hear nobody. Well, Pastor, how is it possible that the bloodline switched? We're not talking about the natural bloodline. We're talking about the spiritual bloodline. Once you engrafted your... Oh, da, 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 da. She had a, once you go in and grafted into the spiritual realm, the bloodline changes. 
Uh, we're going to get to that because y'all still don't understand where I'm coming from. So therefore, we understand the deal about hallelujah. Uh, uh, Samuel, how uh, Eli being the priest. Now, Pastor, what do you say? What does that have to do, hallelujah, with Joseph and his brothers? Well, you must understand. Uh, uh, along the line, uh, who, was, who was their brother? The brother was the, uh, the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Hallelujah. There were 12 tribes that would be sitting at the end uh, when all things are done. But during that time, there's a point in time where we can be converted back from when we were. I can't hear no God. You may not walk like your, uh, God has you to walk right now. Parents, don't give up on your children when you constantly pray for them because you must understand. Save the cause. Hallelujah. You don't side with them, but you uphold. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord. I can't hear nobody. So therefore, there was, a, there was a son, hallelujah. There was 12 brothers, there was one. Y'all know the story. Uh, Joseph being the young one at that time, hallelujah. Benjamin came after, but at that time, it was Joseph. Uh, and Joseph was having dreams. And the dream was about when I read, when he said that his brothers would bow before his feet. Well, at that time, now dealing with families, sometimes your families will get upset with it. I, I can't hear nobody. Because God may choose to walk. Uh, have you walked in his footsteps at that time? Everybody's yes. yes. not going to like it. You must understand now we're dealing with the bloodline of the natural and the spiritual. Yes. I can't hear nobody. Yes. We got a natural bloodline and we have a spiritual bloodline. Yes. And the problem is now today we think because of what we always like to do with our family members, we like to throw um, put the pressure of the family on those that are called by God to pressure them into switching spots and sticking with what the family is doing. And hold up now. Uh, you must understand my bloodline. How I have my bloodline of my natural parents. The bloodline, hallelujah, I, I can't hear nobody. Before we, let me, let me break this down to you all. Yes, Holy Ghost, you must understand. Now, there's a process now. You must understand. Uh, how many of you, when you go to, when you go to a hospital, your physician, whatever, they always try to ask you, what about your genealogy? What about, what's in your bloodline? Because what's in your bloodline is possibly the responsibility with the cause of why you're going through inflictions. I, 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 I can hear that body. Well, they say this because they're finite mind when they understand that thing in the flesh. Now enters in because the Bible declares in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. All to the way they hold all things anew. How is it that my blood, my blood is sufficient, hallelujah, my natural blood is sufficient for when my family members need like, like a transfusion and something like that. But the infirmities that were in the bloodline, hallelujah, may still be upon my family, but they're not upon me. Uh, Pastor, what are you saying? Well, you must understand, this is my mother, this is my father, this is my sister, this is my brother, but they don't walk after the life that I walk after. I don't have to deal with certain, certain infirmities that they have to deal with because my conversion came, I, I can hear nobody, my conversion came when I saw out the Christ and said, take all of me, Lord, for I believe your son died because that means everything that Christ did on the cross, now it bears witness inside of me and I become a part of that thing. I can not hear nobody. He was wounded for my transgression. I read what I read because you must understand that. Yes, naturally, hallelujah, we are connected, hallelujah. My blood is better for you, hallelujah, than your blood for me because there's no infirmity because I continue to walk in the precepts and the concept of the God that I serve. Whereas you have the same choice, but you choose not to walk. And then you're going to associate... Our bloodlines, but no, our bloodlines are different. Our, 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 my, my, blood, my blood is pertinent if you need something from me that requires my blood. But as far as those things, those habits that possibly that you're still connected with are no longer connected with me. Because now I 
I won't. I'm able now that the generational curse that still lurks upon you don't lurk on me. Read the word. Read the word because you must understand the conversion then began to happen with Joseph and his brothers when he came back. When Because remember, they understood what they had done to his brother. That's why I read in Genesis 7 when Reuben was the first one that didn't want to do it in the first place. And then what they did was they cast their brother in the pit while Reuben went off. Reuben didn't want to harm his brother, hallelujah, because he felt the English at that time. Everybody else did. They wanted to harm Joseph. So therefore, when they saw him and then he went up, they thought it was a done deal. How many realize that sometimes when your family think that they don't cast you off? Hallelujah. Because, no, you can't put the pressure of the family on me and say, because everybody else is doing it, you need to be there. I don't agree with what everybody in my family is doing. Now, because they don't walk after me like what you all walk after. You are nobody. Sometimes God requires us to make a decision. Are you going to be with that bloodline or are you going to be with this bloodline that can help that bloodline? So therefore, you must understand the conversion from my tainted bloodline happens this way because I've made a decision how I'm going to walk. So they're like with Joseph. Joseph's brothers came because of the famine. Hallelujah. Uh, and then began to ask. Joseph wrecked brothers, but his brothers did not recognize him. He put them through tests for a reason. Hallelujah. And then what happened? The anger from what they had did to their brother came back to them. Yes. 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 The guilt began to eat them up. But what I but, but the point of the story was, because Joseph, you must understand, sometimes, and I believe the Lord is going to use those that chose no matter what the pressures of the family they try to put on you. Hallelujah. Yes. When you stand, hallelujah, for the principles of God, I can give your back. Things work together for the good of them that love the Lord according to his purpose. Not the mommy and daddy. But because the Bible declares when your mother and your father and your sister and your brother forsake you. That's the word of the Lord. Understand there are some forsaken, but it's not for you to compromise with the forsaken. Understand, God says that He will handle everything. Stand long enough to see the salvation of the Lord. So therefore, it's amazing because because of the kindness, and Joseph did not get upset for what his brothers did. Because how many realize that, like the Bible declares about the love, come covers a multitude of sins. And at that time, because when he when he finally when you read the end of the story, he revealed to himself, to his brothers, who he was. Yeah. Yes, 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 Lord. But sometimes we want to we want we want to be the ones to see them squeam and squirm. Yeah. Uh, Come on, we want to be the ones, but that's not what he did. Uh, he wanted to test them to see what their loyalty was. Hallelujah. But he didn't, he still had within him, hallelujah, the, the love for his brothers despite what they did to him. So, so Pastor, what, 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 uh, before, Pastor, what does this have to do with the, with the place? You must understand what is so pertinent in, in the body of Christ now and what we're dealing with in society. A lot of society now, what we're dealing with, and you must understand. That's why I read in, in, in Numbers and in Exodus, the sins of the Father brings anguish on the Lord because they do nothing to stop them in that generational curse. And that also applies to those in the body of Christ because we also can cause sins to come up on our children when we know what to do right and we do it not. The Bible depends woe well unto them that know to do right and do it not. So you must have a pastor, what are you talking about? And the Spirit of the Lord say, well, you must have said, why is all this thing, anything that you think of you want to do, you do it. How? We're in a society now, we got so much stuff that, that, that God is just pleased with, and it's where everybody understands. We got so with the transgender and the, 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 the 
I can't make up my mind who I want to be today, if I'm going to be the M or the F. I don't understand because I'm choosing. And then we want to make up. We want to break parts or loose it like with Barbie dolls and put different parts on. Mr. Potato Head, I don't like this. I'm going to put this on here. I don't like that. I'm going to put that on there. So I'm going to take this off and put that back here. And I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put this right here. So you must understand. The sin of the Father is the cause of things that's happening right now. Because you must understand. When I read what I read. It was unbelievable to the children why they're doing you may not and they may not have an appetite to do what they're doing it's because of the sins of the father that has never been repented that they're caught up in the sinful nature because nothing can come from sin but sin but the elevation the sin can be elevated so that's why everybody's trying to get you to do what they want well because they're sin that is running things so therefore they want to get in conjunction with more sin uh, why you don't why you trying to be this when God calls you to be this well I, I, I really can't explain because when you are uh, gender confused they really can't explain well this is why no that's not who you are who told you this is who you are God never made a mistake in saying no 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 it's because somebody didn't do what they should have done or Somebody did something that they shouldn't have done and they were repented for. Well, Pastor, how can you say that? I just read in the Bible where here I knew that he had sons that was defiling the temple and never said anything about it. How many know of today, hallelujah, that are fathers that know that their children have gone astray and you are allowing it? I don't care if they don't say something that you oppose it. So the Bible, because the Bible declares, hallelujah, the Bible declares, and you must understand that there must be a conversion in the bloodline because there's a thing about there's the natural bloodline and there's a spiritual bloodline. I came in the form of which I came in because it is a part of the structure which the Lord has made us. And the Bible declares, and the Bible says, we all who are born in yes. The Lord declares we were born in sin. So that means our bloodline from birth was tainted. That means our bloodline from birth was tainted and is tainted. So it is up to us to come for the remedy and recognize who holds the remedy for my bloodline. I can't hear nobody. That's why also you must understand why we're in churches. And when they say, lift your hands up and praise and give God glory, you must understand that silent thing don't do nothing but enforce, hallelujah, the taintness that's in your blood. Ah, uh, God is a good God. I understand God is preparing these people for a reason. There are certain things that the Lord has required from us to do, and we're not doing it. Uh, you can't say because you can't say because I'm here and I'm I'm in the Word because I, I go to church that that I'm clean and I'm saved. No, no, because the Bible says what that what knowledge do you have of things that are happening right in front of you? That's part of your family, and they don't know of you to speak against it. Everybody who's ever they declare themselves, hallelujah. Whoever declares themselves, I'm a part, I'm a part of, a, 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 I believe, in, and, and, and I'm renewed in Christ Jesus. But when you go to your home, to your family reunion, saying you got to be all this holy, and then no one is saying any of that. But there should, there should be an understanding through your family. No, I don't do that around because, and they already know from the get go that you don't agree with. They should be uncomfortable around you. Because of the standards in which they know that you live in. I, I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. Well, Pastor, how can you say it? Read the story with Eli. Eli, all that long time, he was serving. And when his sons came along, he didn't correct his sons from doing what they were doing that opposed, hallelujah, yes. what God had seen high in front of his temple. Yes. 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 The Bible declares the wages of sin is death. Yes. There's a natural death and there's a spiritual death. Yes. 
But the wages of sin are death. It's going to happen. Yeah. So what am I, Pastor, what are you saying? You must understand now. It may not be, as well. like I said, a lot of times we're caught up in things that we don't understand. Sometimes we need to go and pray. But why, why am I continuously doing this? And I don't know why, but I'm doing it. Yeah. It could be because of the sins of the generation. Somebody in your family, in your bloodline, yeah. has attained blood and yeah. that repented. Hallelujah. Yeah. And doing some things. And you're the result of it. But then again, when God begins to speak, when you go to church, church is for a reason. It's not just to come through the door. When the Lord begins to speak, it's for you. Mm. That possibly that, that that possibly that has something to do with me. Possibly has something that I should check out. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Possibly this is something that I need to check out. So therefore, you must understand. This is when, when we hear words, when we hear God is saying some things like this, and when am I to do because of that? Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't hear no more. I can't hear nobody. So then we begin to move on that. And then a lot of things that we're going through, hallelujah, will become rectified. Because I can go, I can move with a surety now. I can move with a surety now that, that, that you no, know, because of when I come somewhere, and it has a lot to do also, like where, where we're going to Joe, what co pastor's going to Joe Hannesburg, and, and the team is going with us. You must understand. They can, you will be ineffective when you understand when you carry that tainted bloodline. Yeah. We cannot be effective when our bloodline is tainted. Yeah. I say that you hear that? Yeah. even to the, to the fact that even if you don't know, it's better to ask, Lord, cleanse me of anything yeah. of the bloodline yeah. that I'm on the real path. Yeah. Even now, even if it has a grip on me now, cleanse me of it. Yeah. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. No, nobody. 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 But we're going to say and we're going to stand what we've been doing. Yeah. So we must understand him all we, 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 we must understand and the thing about what, what was going on with uh, I don't know if maybe you all caught that, but in the beginning Harold was was uh, Esau and at the end with the twelve tribes was Jacob. It'll catch you. It'll, you all catch you. You'll read the read your Bible. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Esau and Jacob were against one another. Yes, yes. King Herod, Edomites, the lineage of Esau. Yes. The twelve tribes of, of uh, Israel were chosen on the gates at the end. The brothers of Israel, Jacob's sons. Yes. My Lord, that's the <laughs> you all understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all understand? Yes, sir. If you go even further, you must understand. If you go even, yes, even further about where where now where where they stand, where they're from now, uh, the Edomites, Edomites now is now uh, Iran. Yes, that's correct, Lord. Teach us, teach us, so the, 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 the battle and the understand bloodline, the, the, the lineage, but it also affects all of us. Yes. Amen. Yes. But Christ is the answer. Amen. Yes. My time is up.